beautiful beaches, crystal clear sea, stunning old cities and rich history make the Adriatic coast one of the best summer destinations in the world. As a tour guide, I can't wait to show you the most stunning places on the Adriatic coast. We are starting with a spectacular but little known Croatian town of Omish. Small town is set in a spectacular setting at the mouth of the Cetina river where steep cliffs meet the Adriatic sea. On the surrounding peaks, a couple of fortresses look over the town, adorned with beautiful old architecture tightly packed under the mountain. In the Middle Ages, Omish was home of pirates, but is now a popular summer destination. Along the coast stretch modern houses, hotels and beautiful beaches set in a spectacular landscape. In the heart of central Dalmatia, the mountain of Biokovo rises above the Adriatic Sea. From one of its best lookout points, Skywalk Biokovo, a glass walkway hangs out of the cliff from where you can see many Adriatic islands. At the foothills of the mountain is a 50km stretch of coastline known as Makarska Riviera. This spectacular landscape started to develop as a tourist destination in the 1960s. Here are beautiful pebble beaches, long promenades along the sea, pine forests and an array of hotels, apartments and tourist amenities. Further south, in Montenegro, is a popular summer holiday destination of Budva known for its sandy beaches and wild nightlife. Despite being the center of modern tourism, this place still has its wow factor. The core of modern holiday resort is a beautiful medieval coastal town with defensive stone walls built by the Venetians. Impressive surroundings feature several islands and bays topped with gorgeous mountains backdrop, beautiful scenery, history, modern infrastructure, great climate and many beautiful beaches makes Budva the perfect summer destination. Another beautiful part of the Adriatic coastline is the Istria Peninsula. Just off its western coast is a group of small islands called Brioni. They are a popular national park with safari, which holds animals given as a gift to Yugoslavian communist leader Josip Broz Tito. Here was his summer residence, where he hosted heads of states and movie stars. Islands are also famous for more than 200 dinosaur footprints and Roman remains. Most people visit Brioni as a half-day or a full-day trip using the national park's regular and frequent boat service. On the coast of the Istria Peninsula are several beautiful old towns and one of them is Poreć. The old town has a rich history dating back 2000 years reflected in charming windy streets with cafes, restaurants, art galleries and shops. But the most impressive landmark of Poreć is a beautiful Byzantine basilica with mosaics from the 6th century. The town is surrounded by a beautiful coastline with beaches bearing the blue flag, an international symbol of clean sea and well-kept beaches. The largest mountain range along the Adriatic coast is called Velebit. This spectacular area is one of the wildest parts of the whole Mediterranean. It is a protected park reserved with dramatic coastal landscapes and a unique combination of Mediterranean and mountain climate. Under the mountain range runs a beautiful coastal road passing by historical villages and medieval towns with small beaches. Velebit ends with Paklenica National Park, famous for canyons, climbing opportunities and beautiful beaches. The Adriatic coast has an amazing heritage and one of its oldest cities is Zadar. It dates back more than 3000 years and the entire old town is an open-air museum. The oldest squares are dating back to Roman times and on one of them is a beautiful 9th century round church built from reused parts of old Roman buildings. Zadar is also famous for its beautiful waterfront promenade and a very unusual instrument called the sea organ which plays music by the way of sea waves. From Zadar, you can take a day trip to a spectacular and the most dense archipelago in the entire Mediterranean, Kornati Islands. On the stretch of 35 km or 22 miles are 109 islands riddled with cracks, caves and rugged cliffs. Since there are no sources of fresh water, islands are mostly barren, but there are numerous secluded calves and bays featuring smaller or larger beaches perfect for swimming and snorkeling. The capital of the Croatian coastland region, known as Dalmatia, is Split. 
The city started as a huge retirement palace for a Roman Emperor Diocletian more than 1700 years ago and amazingly, you can still see parts of the original palace. Over the centuries, the palace was transformed into a magical old town that was used as a filming location for the Game of Thrones. Here is the oldest Catholic cathedral in the world that is also one of the best preserved Roman buildings. Along the walls of the ancient Roman palace is Split's lively and spectacular waterfront full of restaurants and bars. Off the shore of Split is the island of Brach, with one of the most spectacular beaches on the Adriatic coast, the Golden Horn Beach. This fine pebble beach is famous for its distinctive shape, golden color and its surrounding crystal clear turquoise water. Beach is also special for the phenomenon of a pebble cape that changes its shape depending on the winds. The cape is covered by a small pine grove that provides shade and holds the remains of an 1800 years old water tank, once part of a Roman villa. Just off the Dalmatian coast is a beautiful island of Korchula, named after its glorious medieval town. Picturous Korchula town was built on a small peninsula in a spectacular setting and is still surrounded by medieval town walls and defensive towers. They were built by the Venetians when the island was part of Venetian Republic. Town streets are linked by stone steps and lined by beautiful stone-made Venetian architecture. According to the local legend, this was the birthplace of famous Venetian explorer Marco Polo. At the southern part of the Adriatic coastline is the most southern fjord in Europe, a spectacular bay of Kotor in Montenegro. Bay was named after the beautiful coastal town wedged between steep mountains and the Adriatic Sea. Kotor town has a medieval maze of stone paved streets and beautiful Venetian palaces and churches. Besides the stunning landscape, the most impressive features are spectacular fortifications surrounding the town and stretching from the coast to the mountains. Thanks to the amazing Kotor walls, the town managed to resist the attacks from the land and sea. Back to Istria and its romantic ravine set on a small peninsula. Its cobbled stone streets are adorned by arches and porticos and lined by old stone houses with wooden window shutters. On the top of the town is a beautiful church with rich artwork and a bell tower offering spectacular views. Just south of the town is one of the most beautiful nature parks in Istria with beautiful unspoiled beaches. No wonder that Rovin is one of the most popular and beautiful tourist resorts on the Adriatic coast. On the Slovenian coast is a picturesque seaside town of Piran. Charming old town in a spectacular location is set on a small peninsula. It has beautiful Venetian architecture and an impressive maze of windy stone streets, passageways and small squares. Above the old town rises a cliff with a church and a freestanding bell tower, a replica of St. Mark's Bell Tower in Venice, as for more than half a millennia, Piran was part of the Republic of Venice. Adriatic also has the sunniest and one of the most beautiful islands in Europe, Hvar. Island is set in a spectacular setting of the nearby chain of wooded Pakleni Islands and is famous for its amazing beaches and rich history. Khvar town has beautiful Venetian stone-made architecture, narrow stone streets, imposing fort and the biggest main square on Croatian coast. Interior of the island is just as amazing with small stone villages, an amazing landscape lined with handmade rice stone walls, hillsides covered with vineyards, olive trees and lavender fields. The Adriatic coast also has one of the best preserved medieval towns in Europe, world famous Dubrovnik. The most spectacular feature of the town are its medieval defensive walls that still completely surround the old town. Dubrovnik is set on a spectacular location between the mountain and the crystal clear blue sea and its old town is like a time capsule, often used as a filming location, including for the Games of Thrones. There are also great beaches and wonderful restaurants that make Dubrovnik a perfect holiday destination. But the most impressive place on the entire Adriatic coast is spread on more than 100 small islands in a lagoon with no roads. Thanks to its amazing architecture, art and beauty collected in more than 1000 years of Venetian Republic, Venice has been declared as the most beautiful city in the world over and over again. Unique network of canals is crossed by more than 400 bridges and the most impressive one is Rialto, spanning the Grand Canal. 
There are also beautiful Dutch Palace, spacious St. Mark's Square with impressive Basilica and iconic Bell Tower. Venice has so many stunning landmarks that despite its fame, they still leave visitors speechless. If you plan to visit the Adriatic coast, check my favorite Adriatic tours and experiences in the description below. To learn more about these spectacular Adriatic places, check this playlist.